you would often find questions around array in DSA rounds if you are appearing for front-end interview. Don't worry, I am here to help you crack your dream job. My name is Vedant and you are watching Array in JavaScript on JS Cafe. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So today we are going to solve the question insert interval. The question states that you are given an array of non-overlapping intervals. Uh, intervals, this particular uh, array where intervals i is equals to start i and i represent the start and the end of the i -th interval and the interval is sorted in ascending order so this interval is already sorted by the start i value and you are also given an interval new interval which that represents the start and the end of another interval so insert new interval into intervals such that interval is still sorted in ascending order by start i and intervals still do not have any overlapping intervals merge overlap intervals if necessary return new intervals after intersection so uh, the question is stating that we have a array of intervals okay they are sorted already by the value of the start index of each array okay so each array has a start index and a end index so they are sorted by start values and we have a another array which is called new interval and we have to insert this new interval inside the array of intervals that is given to us so if we try to you know insert a uh, 2 comma 5 in this we can see that this uh, 2 comma 5 interval is uh, coinciding with this 1 comma 3 interval okay so what we have to do is we have to first of all combine these two intervals okay uh, so if we try to combine these two intervals, they will become one uh, comma five like this. And since one comma five is not overlapping with six comma nine, we uh, insert six comma nine as it is. I'll I'll uh, go into depth uh, once we uh, go over a uh, whiteboard. Uh, so let us try to take this example and we form a logic to solve the question. So. We are uh, given this uh, intervals array 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, uh, 12, 16 and we have to insert this value. Okay. So let me first draw the intervals for you. So we have interval from 1, 2. We have 1, 2. We have 3, 4, 5, 8, 5. We have 6, 7 f6 7 we have 8 10 we have 8 10 and along 12 till 16 and we have 4 comma 8 to insert so 4 will lie something between 3 and 5 over here so 4 is starting and 8 will be at this point okay so this is our 4 and 8 new interval so we can see that it is touching 1 2 3 intervals of the original intervals array okay and so if we try to you know first of all what we will do is we will start iterating for, on the intervals which is given in the array and we will uh, maintain a result array okay so this interval i okay we will call this interval i whenever we are iterating so and this is a new interval so we can see that interval i 1 comma 2 is at the extreme left of the new interval or vice versa if we say if the new interval is at the extreme right of the interval i which means that uh, once this end index of interval i is ending this is the new interval is not overlapping first of all and it is present at the right hand side of it okay so we can see, clearly see that this new interval is present on right of this particular interval so what we will do is we will directly in, insert one comma two inside the interval results array okay so we will push one comma two as it is okay we will not bother anything now we come to another interval i so this was done 
okay this was done now we come to this part now we come to this part on this part we see 3 comma 5 is overlapping with 4 comma 8 okay so now what we do we will do what we will do is we will try to merge 3 comma 5 with 4 comma 8 okay we will not insert anything right now because we are not sure after merging whether it will you know uh, span uh, again multiple uh, intervals what I mean by that is let's say we merge 3 comma 5 and 4 comma 8 now whatever is the new interval out of the result of out of the merging is that new interval again overlapping with some another interval i okay we are not sure so whenever there is a case of overlapping we will not push anything unless and until the overlapping is gone okay so we can see that in 3 comma 5 there is a overlapping happening so what we will do is we will update the value of new interval okay so the new interval will be minimum of 3 comma 4 which is 3 okay so minimum of 3 comma 4 is 3 okay which 4 is gone and maximum of 5 comma 8 which is 8 okay I am crossing it so that it, it will make sense so again it becomes 8 okay now we did 3 comma 5 why we did minimum and maximum here so we see that this 4 value was somewhere over here okay like this so if we want to merge interval so will it make more sense to pick 4 or will it make more sense to pick 3 obviously it will make more sense to pick the leftmost value when you are trying to create value of the start index okay so that is why we have to take minimum of those okay because in this scenario the interval was overlapping over here okay there can be scenario that interval can overlap here also so in this scenario we have to take this particular value because we have to pick the leftmost so we have to always do minimum of the left okay and obviously when we are taking the minimum on the left it is obviously very obvious that we have to take the maximum on the right so maximum on the right is 5 comma 8 uh, which gives 8 okay so this is the logic behind it now we traverse 3 comma 5 now we come to 6 comma 7 we again see that uh, 3 comma 8 is overlapping with 6 comma 7 we will again do the same we will take minimum of 3 comma 6 it will be again 3 we will take maximum of 7 comma 8 it will again be 8 now we drive a 6 comma 7 now we come to 8 comma 10 now in 8 comma 10 we see that it is again overlapping with 3 comma 8 because 8 and 8 are overlapping so what we will do is we will again merge this so we will take minimum of 3 comma 8 what will be it will be 3 again maximum of 8 comma 10 it will be 10 okay this is the case now we have new interval with 3 and 10 and we traverse this okay now we come to 12 comma 16 in 12 comma 16 we see that it is not overlapping with 3 comma 10 because 3 comma 10 is now at the extreme left of the interval i okay in this part for 1 comma 2 it was at the extreme right okay so we directly pushed 1 comma 2 but for 12 comma 16 it is at the extreme left so what is at, at the extreme left should be pushed first okay so we will push our new interval which is 3 comma 10 which is 3 comma 10 into the result array okay and we will now change new interval with interval i okay so new interval will now become 12 and 16 we will only update new interval for left case okay so because we are when we are pushing new interval a new interval is now already pushed okay so new the value which was present in new interval is not of use anymore so we have to now update the new interval with 12 comma 16 okay and we traversed it again so once we finished traversing all of it 
whatever was the new interval value which was 12 comma 16 we have to now push it okay so this is the answer 1 comma 2 3 comma 10 and 12 comma 16 let us try to verify 1 comma 2 3 comma 10 and 12 comma 16 okay this was the result and this is the algorithm we have to follow so what we saw we saw scenarios of overlapping cases in case of non-overlapping it can be at the extreme right or it can be at the extreme left these two cases are handed uh, uh handled separately if it is extreme right we push the interval i if it has if it is at extreme left we push the new interval and we update the new interval if it is an overlapping case we only update the new interval start index and the end index okay you can pause the video and try the same approach for this particular example 1 comma 3 6 comma 9 and it will make sense to you eventually okay so this was the logic behind uh, solving this particular question and let us now jump to write the code for it okay so what we will do is first of all we will create const result this is our result array result array is this one which will contain all of the uh, intervals now what we will do is for const interval of intervals okay we are iterating over each intervals okay so we have interval over here now we will check first scenario okay we will check the first scenario if the new interval is at the extreme right okay or we can say if interval i is at left so what we will do is if interval if the end index okay if the end index so how we will get the end index we will get interval of 1 in interval of 1 is less than new interval of new interval of 0 okay so new interval of 0 is present at the right and uh, end index of interval i should be present at the left okay so interval of 1 should be less than new interval of 0 if this is the case then what we have to do is we have to push interval and that's it else if the second scenario the second scenario over here is if the new interval is present at the left okay so what we will do is we will just see new or what we see is if the interval is present at the right okay so if interval of 0 is greater than new interval of 1 okay then what we will do in this scenario is we will uh, push the new interval and we will update the new interval so we will do result dot push new interval and new interval will be interval we updated it else this is the case of overlap so what we will do is we will do update the start index and the end index so interval of zero would be so we are updating the start so it would be mat dot min okay mat dot min interval of zero and new interval of zero and similarly if we have to update the end index so math dot max interval of one interval of fun and once the loop finishes we have to do result dot push new interval and we will return result so let us try to run this okay it was accepted cool 
so code was fine so now let us uh, talk about the time and the space complexity so the time complexity is big o of n because we are only iterating over the uh, intervals once the space complexity is big o of n because we are storing the results uh, inside the array okay so this was all in this video i hope you liked it if you have any doubts let me know in the comments this was all in this video till then take care goodbye see you in the next one Oh.